Born in Bokimonge Ward, Boma Joge, Borabu constituency in Kisi County, Amos Sanderi, commonly known as Dak Tari amongst his peers, is the fourth born in a family of five. He attended Omobera Boarding Primary School, joined Kisi High School and later transited to Kenyatta University School of Medicine, where he graduated in 2009. He subsequently proceeded to Maseno University to pursue a master's degree in public health. Amos has had a stellar career path both in the public and private sectors, where he has demonstrated dedication, honesty and hard work for the past eight years. Some of the places where he has served and is celebrated for his outstanding professionalism are the Kisi Teaching and Referral Hospital, KMTC Nakuru, Ram School of Nursing and the British American Insurance Company. He currently works at Kisumu Medical and Education Trust, where he leads a team of 21 staff and offers technical support to over 100 health providers in private health facilities across 15 counties of Kenya to provide integrated health services. Here, he is known for his result-oriented leadership. Daktarion Derry's interest in active politics was stirred in the year 2014 when he realized minimal citizen participation in implementation of world development projects contrary to the expectations of the Kenyan constitution, denying the people of Bokimonge a voice in their development agenda. If you ask me, this has been the most difficult decision in the history of my life to pronounce myself to politics and of course announce my candidature. Uh, but I've decided literally to make this decision for, for the sake and the interest of the people of Okimonge. The reason as to why people go into elections after every four years is basically to have a leadership that is responsive to their needs, a leadership that will be able to instill hope in the lives of the people, a leadership that guarantees people quality health care at workable distances, a leadership that will be able to ensure that the children receive quality education that they desire. Uh, quite unfortunately for the people of Okimonge, that has been very far from realization. Uh, for instance, they will go straight away to the healthcare. You realize in the constitution, part of the gains that we have received from the constitution is that healthcare is a devolved function. I come from a ward that basically has a population of more than 35,000. Uh, but it will be surprising for people to realize that in a ward of such a magnitude, we are having only two public health facilities that need to meet the health care needs of the people. To be specific, a Kenyanya sub-county, 54 years since independence, we have a hospital that is ill-equipped, an hospital that doesn't even have a mortuary, doesn't have a theater, you know, it doesn't have an x-ray, it doesn't have an ultrasound, and yet this is where we expect our women to go ahead and deliver, just in case of complications, they cannot even be able to receive uh, quality maternal services that they expect in terms of even operations. I want to use uh, this period of my leadership to ensure that that facility is equipped to the satisfaction of the people so that we do not have women who literally require ultrasound and they're moving out of the world to receive ultrasound services elsewhere. I would not want to see a scenario where uh, a border border has been injured you know, by accident and cannot even be able to receive X-ray services within the world level. And yet these people wake up in the morning to vote us in every general election. We have some of these roads which have been done within the ward, but the work done there is very short. There's no drainage. Uh, some of the roads have not been marammed. If, if they have been marammed, the, the, the quality and the quantity of maram that is put on those roads is actually wanting. And when you actually try to create a balance between the amount of money that has been spent on those roads and the work that has been done there, you will also realize that you know some of these people are actually making a livelihood out of uh, what uh, should benefit the lives of the people. And that basically explains the reason as to why I've offered myself for this office of the member of the county assembly so that I can be able to champion quite a number of issues that have not been put right by the leadership that exists at the world level. While recognizing that leadership is neither about titles nor holding a public office, the Bokimonge MCA hopeful has purpose to touch other people's lives through simple but practical ways. Over the past five years, he has facilitated numerous students to pay school fees, fundraise for churches and families including orphan children. Dr. Tari Onderi has taken lead in mobilizing communities and finding local solutions to their challenges, for instance, repair of debilitated roads, wells and construction of footbridges, among them the famous Tongeri footbridge. And this is exactly uh, quite in line with the Kenyan constitution of 2010. 
uh, quite a number of sections of that constitution, you know, clearly uh, gives us a legal framework under which citizens need to be involved in terms of uh, implementing their projects. Some of those sections are drawn from, uh, you know, section 100 and article 118 of the constitution, article 196. And what is even much more impressive is what is being captured in article 10 of the constitution. Now, the article 10 of the constitution basically emphasizes on the values uh, of good governance, values of inclusivity, you know, values of transparency and accountability. And there is no way you can be able to assure people of accountability unless you are able to involve them to make decisions on how they want to be governed uh, at the world level. As a young leader, Dr. Tari Onderi recognizes the place of sports and other talents among the youth and organizes frequent football matches across the world to nurture sporting talent. Being a medical practitioner, Dr. Tarion Derry has organized several integrated medical camps like the Kenyanya TTC and Tongeri Mega Camps to bring health services closer to the people of Bokimonge. I'm prescribing and pronouncing myself to this office because I, I, I literally want to serve people and set a precedence in leadership so that the people who will come behind me will actually have a foundation, a basis from which they begin. One, I want people to participate in their own projects. I want their voices to be heard. I want them to decide what exactly they want us to do. It is not possible to do all that the people want at once. But we can agree is a people that we are going to do things systematically, beginning with the first uh, project that they consider priority moving forward. And by the time we hit the fifth year, uh, during my leadership, we will have done quite a, you know, uh, a greater deal of the project that is expected to be done within the world level. I have a very clear vision for young people. And uh, during my leadership, I just want to map out and identify new employers who can be able to employ young people, both in the, in the, in the formal and informal sector. Uh, for example, I've already started that program uh, with young people, particularly who are interested in getting to the supermarkets and uh, security farms. I've already employed more than uh, 20 persons, and I think this is going to be accelerated even as we move forward and the people of Bokimong give their mandate to lead them the next counter assembly. And they coming from a world which actually has only two operational healthcare facilities, uh, I intend to operationalize other facilities that were constructed under the, the, the CDF uh, but have never been operationalized. And uh, once those facilities have been operationalized, I actually want to move forward and ensure that we are able to identify other areas where we can be able to put a new facilities. It is very surprising that I come from a world where quite a number of facilities actually had a mini grade of a D and below. Uh, that doesn't please me as a leader. Some of these students that do not have resources to be able to go to the big schools, you know, like KC School, Alliance and so forth. But wherever they find themselves within the world level, the facilities that are available in terms of education, uh, in terms of schools, we can be able to work with the teachers and ensure that these children actually get the quality of education they deserve. Uh, and during my tenure in office, I just want to collaborate with other stakeholders, including the member of parliament, who, you know, squarely the matters of education, uh, remain in his docket to try and see where we can be able to help other stakeholders, the teachers, the parents, to be able to ensure that the education standards within the world level are actually to the standard. Inspired by the spirit of Article 10 of the Kenyan Constitution of Good Governance, Integrity, Transparency, Accountability and Sustainable Development, Dr. Tarion Derry is hopeful of clinching the Bokimongi Ward member of County Assembly seat in 2017 through an ODM ticket.
basically looking through my past and what I've been able to do within the short period since I, I, will, I pronounced myself to politics. I think the people of Bokimonga this time have an alternative. They have the best opportunity to be able to elect a leader who actually resonates to the needs of, to, to their own needs. I remember earlier on I, I, I did mention about, uh, you know, the issues about the hope, hopelessness.